I like this. Take a look at this the amazing water slide aboard the Disney Dream Cruise Ship. Shouldn't you be down there doing weather forecasts for the Florida coast? I mean, I think they need you down there. I, it's raining there right there now. It is. <laughs> That's what happens when the meteorologist stays in Colorado. We should take you <laughs> next time. Of course, our own Natalie Tisdall is giving you the exclusive. The only reporter in all of Colorado invited to go down there and get the first look at the brand new inaugural maiden voyage. Natalie, you've had a good time, haven't you? We've had a good time, and look, the rain came just in time for us to head back to Colorado. You can see what my hair looks like curly here in the rain. So today we're getting ready. Whoa, somebody's getting ready to go down the slide. It's loud. Okay, so we wanted to tell you, and all week we've been telling you about this cool feature on the Disney Dream Cruise Ship. It's called Aqueduct, and it's the first water coaster on a cruise ship. Let's take a look at some of the video because I got to try it out, and wouldn't you know, they put a camera right in front of me so you get to see me scream all the way down. Let's roll that video as I tell you a little bit more about the Aqua Duck. It's a 765 foot water coaster. Why is it a water coaster? Well, because it's kind of like a roller coaster and a water slide mixed together, and that's what it feels like, too. Four decks in height. It, the water gushes 10,000 gallons of water uh, per minute. It's so much fun. It actually goes 12 feet over the side of the cruise ship so you can see the ocean below you. It's amazing. I had a really fun time. It gets the thumbs up from my 10-year-old daughter, too, who went once and then had to climb right back up and wait in line to go right back down again because it really is that much fun. Joining me now is Peter Ritchie. He is an Imagineer with Disney, and you were responsible for putting this whole thing together in the Aqueduct, weren't you? Absolutely. I've been the project manager for the Aqueduct and many other features on the ship. Well, tell me how it all came about and how challenging it was to build a water coaster on a cruise ship. I'll tell you what, we were challenged to put the biggest and best slide we could do on a, on a cruise ship. We literally took a foam model of the ship and golf tees and surgical tube and mapped out the entire plan on the upper deck of the ship was what you can see behind us. And then we had to figure out how to do it on a ship that's always bending and flexing because it's not stable like the ground. So, so that makes a difference. When, it, when it's moving, how do you compensate for that? We, I mean, we see the water even moving behind us here in the tube. How do you compensate for that in a moving ship? Well, there's a lot of things our ride engineers put together, but the biggest thing is we build compliance into every part. So it literally can move back and forth with the flexing of the ship. It's well, amazing. I, I know Imagineers do a lot at Disney, and you really are the rock stars of Disney because you do that. How challenging is it to build a cruise ship, and when Disney is known for attractions and rides, to have to incorporate that into a vessel and a cruising ship? And, and I know with the new cruise ship coming out, you're going to have something fun maybe like this as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, we've already been in the cruise business for a long time now with the Disney Magic and Wonder. So we took the best of those features, and then we take what we've already built in our theme parks and other attractions and put them together the best that we can here. There's lots of bright minds working together to create the most immersive guest experience that we can because we want to bring you into our environment so that you can escape the reality and enjoy your vacation. That's what it feels like. So how many times do you think you've done the aqueduct? About a hundred times, but only four in my bathing suit. I've been in a wetsuit in the north of Germany, freezing in 40-degree water really? for a long time. Were you time. one of the first to actually do it since you're the creator? First Imagineer to ride this water slide, and I think I'm the last one that's actually leaving the ship so that we can go into full operation. Well, I really enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Okay, guys, so that's the Aqueduct. It was a big success. Coming up in just a few minutes at the end of the show, our full review of the Disney Dream Cruise Ship. Sounds good now.